वेलकम टू द प्लगिन इंडिया चैनल दिस इज द प्लगिन इंडिया इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल इशू ट्रैकर एपिसोड नंबर 11 This time we've got for you Ola Electric. A lot of Ola scooters have actually been delivered now, and some of them did have some issues. So we're here to document a couple of those issues. Basically, let me tell you quickly about what Issue Tracker really is. Issue Tracker is a community-focused series where we bring out problems that electric vehicle owners face, whether it's an EV, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, or a larger wheeler. Uh, we want to document these issues for the community at large if somebody else has a similar issue they can probably find the solution over here this is not ephemeral like whatsapp where it's on your message and away this is going to be permanent it's going to stay on our forums so even much later if somebody searches they can find these issues and possible solutions this is also a place for you to help out your fellow ev owners where if you found an issue and solved it you can document it over here so that other people may take advantage We also try our best using our contacts in the EV industry to help out people who have these issues. So if you do document your issue over here, we will try our best to get you a favorable solution. Having said that, let's jump right in. We've got three interesting issues for you on the Ola S1 Pro. So our first issue is with an Ola S1 Pro where the display conked off while riding the scooter itself. Uh, this happened to mr heisenberg on the 23rd of jan 2022 and he was riding between the belgaum goa highway at around 6 pm when suddenly his display conked off there is a video that we've given uh, which you can see what actually happened to him and uh, in order to fix this problem he kind of took his scooter to the side of the road near a petrol pump bunk so he could kind of figure out what the problem was and after a couple of seconds the scooter actually turned off and locked the handle and he couldn't ride at all he was absolutely stranded unfortunately for him it started raining and it was quite cold at 10 and 20 degrees where he did not have protective clothing so this exacerbated the problem for him so he had a few minor issues and he, the vehicle was going to be taken in uh, to service uh, in two or three days anyway but because of this uh, they had to arrange a pickup immediately he spoke to ola support they told him that they don't have any way to remotely lock and lock the scooter and that it would have to be got in using the roadside assistance so around 10:30 roadside assistance came in after about four gru- grueling hours in the cold which was i feel the really bad part uh, however after his scooter got taken in they fixed the problem because it was a loose connector and he says in his comment below that uh, there is a connector which is right below the headlight and this was a little bit loose while assembling the scooter and he just snap and they would have probably snapped it in and the display would start to work again this kind of brings to mind guys that you we should probably have some kind of a toolkit when we ride our vehicles for these simple diy fixes that we can do the technician could probably guide us over the phone and we could ourselves uh, fix the problem by opening a screw nuts bolts going a little bit in and fixing the wire luckily for him this wasn't a serious issue with any other part but yes the discomfort of not uh, of staying out in the cold for four and a half hours would certainly be something that one wouldn't want So this is an issue which is now resolved. Uh, a simple connector being loose. So thank you, Eisenberg, for sharing this. Other people will also know that if in case they do have this similar problem, this is how it can be fixed. So guys, here we have another issue, which is a very common issue that has been reported to us by the Ola Owners Club, and this is when the forward and reverse mode of the Ola electric scooter gets reversed there is a video available which we have uh, put up for you to see uh, you can see that here is an owner who is actually pull, putting the accelerator forward he is uh, squeezing the accelerator uh, in a forward direction and the scooter seems to be going backward then he switches the mode to reverse and he is squeezing the accelerator in the opposite direction because it seems that's how you go into reverse in ola and the scooter is going forward so this is a common problem that has been reported and let's see what uh, has been told to this person by the ola team there's a comment by mr abhijit who says that it's just a guess but he's saying that people seem to be wanting to have some kind of a cruise control and there's a combo button which they use and if they use this too often somehow it gets stuck in the vehicle's memory and when you start the scooter without showing reverse it's actually in reverse mode 
Another thing that he says is that if there are kids who are playing with the accelerator, it kind of sometimes gets stuck in full throttle mode and this could also be a problem. This uh, issue was brought up by Plug in India team to the Ola Electric team and they have responded with the following message. It says uh, the issue has been passed on to the engineering service team. So the person who has uh, sent the original video uh, was uh, has been responded to by the Ola team and the Maharashtra and Goa team has called him up and spoken to him directly. So we have a message now from Mr. Mitesh Datta. He says that, uh, Hi, the scooter shown in the video is mine and I took the video. Just a few minutes ago, I received a call from Ola Regional Service Head and he said that all issues will be fixed soon and they are a priority. He also told me that I have any issue hereafter, I can directly contact him. It really boosts my confidence in the company. Well, that's really good to know, folks. Uh, let's see what Mitesh says once he gets his bug fix. Here is another video from Mr. Vanch Ghai who has posted this video on uh, Twitter. It's about his Ola S1 Pro and you can see what happens to his scooter when he tries moving it. Unfortunately, he seems to bang into the wall and fall down as well. Finally, we have a comment from Mitesh. Mitesh has recently updated us. So Mitesh has just updated us that the Ola team from Bangalore has visited him and updated the software. Possibly his bug is now fixed, but we are waiting on Mitesh to get back to us after his testing and let us know if the problem is indeed solved. So as far as I'm concerned, I feel that there are some code paths with uh, which the scooter software gets into, which are causing these bugs and Ola should definitely invest more time, energy, effort and make sure that every possible alternative of the flowchart and every code is written so that such bugs don't come up because these can really be serious issues. And uh, other than that, uh, Ola is definitely taking action. They are putting these things on priority and trying to solve these problems. And uh, let's see what users for the report. So thank you, Mitesh, and thank you, Vansh, for reporting your problems. Uh, please keep us apprised of the progress and final solution if your problem has completely been solved. So the final issue that we have is range suddenly dropping to zero. A lot of Ola S1 Pro ha users have reported this and here is a video from Mr. Sumit and which shows this problem actually happening. You can see that he's got uh, about 50 kilometers of range left. It's a little bit uh, shaky but if you pay attention and then he rotates the video but you can still take a look on the bottom left and you can see that at 35, 40, 40 kilometers suddenly his range drops to zero kilometers. So this is definitely a problem. You can't have your scooter doing this to you. Uh, Ola has reportedly had these issues and replace the entire pack for the owner which in a way I feel is a great thing because they are saving the owner from the hassle of going through the repair process but we also feel that they should build some local capability so that somebody can come and fix the issue or repair the issue at a local level. So having said that I would just like to say that at Plugin India we believe in repair and feel that it is much more eco-friendly than having replacement or even recycling because the materials are continually being used. However, I think replacing the pack for the owner directly means less hassle for them. They can go on their own and then Ola itself can repair the refurbished packs and use them in some other way. So we also have Mr. Mitesh who has reported the same problem. He has contacted Ola and they have uh, replaced the pack for, for him and we are waiting for further feedback from him to let you know if this has indeed fixed his problem. So thank you guys for sharing your problems with us and letting the community know what's going on and how the problems can be solved. If you have any comments, feedback, please write in the comments below and let us know. If you have problems that you want solutions to, put them here. If you have found a solution to your problem, please put that also over here. As an added comment, I think Ola has done a fantastic job of setting up the Future Factory, delivering these amazing products with fantastic specifications, fully connected, true EVs. And now we wish that in order to maintain this legacy, in or to continue offering such fantastic product they need to keep service at priority one they need to make sure that they are delivering on their promise home deliveries home service and making sure that customer has least amount of bother and hassle